Welcome to Bournemouth. This is the back of the net match day vlog and it's the last game of the season and look at the skies. Absolutely glorious over Bournemouth and Paul today. Caught the bus from Paul into Bournemouth. Chat to a few Cherries fans on the way. It was absolutely superb to do so. They're not very optimistic about today's game, but you know what? I am. So I'm going to meet Tiggs. He's getting off at the train station, he's on the bus, and then we're gonna to walk to the Brunny, see Tom, Richard, Jill, and I'm sure plenty of other Cherries fans as AFC Bournemouth hopefully get three points against United, again. Why not? Come on, you Reds. I found him. Here he is. Is the oh, man? Hello, hello. How are you? You're right. Good to see you. Tiggs is it? Okay. Can we just take time to appreciate this T-shirt? Can we? Hey, what what is this? Is that gorgeous. It's a birthday present that was from from uh, Steve a few weeks back. Love, Thank you, Steve. Love that from Steve. So look, we're on the way to the Brunswick. We're yeah. going to chat football very shortly. We're getting our steps in. But what a beautiful day. Are you feeling equally beautiful and positive about getting three points? Yeah, I think so. I think you know we. we We've got nothing to lose. It'd just be nice to get something for the end of the season. I was talking to um, uh, Sam at the pair. You know Sam at the pair? Yeah. Lovely guy. Great guy. And um, we were just saying it'd be nice to pick up something, even if it's just a point between now and the end. It'd be awful just to finish where we were, do you know? But we'll see. Fingers crossed. There they are. Propping up the bar as usual, Richard and Tom, every Saturday, standard. Here in the Bronny, look who I found. Hello, mate. You're right. Oh, hello. What's this all about? I mean, what more can we do? We've given them player of the season, and now I'm wearing a Columbia shirt. Jeff, I know you're watching. You've got to stay. Do you think you will? Have you, actually, so you've got your Columbia shirt. Have you got a sign in Spanish to hold up at the end, no? No. No? no. I don't know any Spanish at all. Disappointed me, What's mate? hello in Spanish? Hola. Oh, I might say that to him at the end. But yeah, I've thought out to, I, I, as I said in the preview, put it to the Telegram, to our monthlies. Should I wear the Columbia shirt? And they, they were on, they were up for it. So yeah, I thought I had to wear it today. And um, yeah, I mean, I think he'll get a good reception and there'll be a lot of chance about him, I'm sure. But yeah, I mean, surely that, I'm, I think that was a bit sentimental giving him the vote. Oh yeah. I, I think, think so. people have gone a little bit overboard. Like I think he could make a case top three. Yeah. I actually thought the order, which was, was it Lerma, Neto, Billin? Yeah. I thought it would be the reverse. Yeah. So I thought it might be Billin, Neto, Lerma. Solanke, uh, unlucky as well. But I think that was a little bit sentimental, wasn't it, to give it a Lerma. But hopefully, never know, I might convince him today. There he is. All okay. right. Yeah, how, how are you guys doing? Yeah, okay. I'm, still, I'm still admiring. It's a very chilled, a chilled pre-match, isn't it? Like, we're even yeah. sort of talking quite yeah, quietly. We're in, yeah. the, we're in the Brunny, we're in the Brunswick. But it's, um, they've got the Tottenham... Brentford game on, on this screen. Yeah, 2-1. We've had a little bit of lunch, so we're all fed now. Fed and waters. Looking forward to the game. I don't know. I've chilled feel, out. Like, it's it, almost too chilled, isn't it? Is there a danger that the players are going to be like this today? I don't know. Which bar are they in in the Brunswick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I hope so. I hope not. We've had this conversation previously about, you know, it's near the end of the season. We are safe. But, but. Two, two million quid for each position. Yeah, just, I mean... We can go up, can't we, a little bit yeah. in the league. So it, it's definitely something worth playing for. Plus, people should be playing for, you know, starts for the beginning of next season. And we've got quite a few players who have potentially could come into the squad today. Be interesting to see what the team uses with Tom later. How are you feeling about the game today, mate? I mean, Man United need this, but can we help out Eddie? Can we? Yeah, that would be nice, of course. And I think I was talking before the game and... Uh, to Rich uh, Jackson and we were saying that actually at home we've always given United a game in my opinion so you know I don't think it's a, a given for them today I think what would be interesting is since we said that on the beach thing we've had two games and I felt the home one against Chelsea we were unlucky I thought we, we put a good show in yeah. the Palace one was really disappointing and that was clearly an on the beach performance so hopefully we see the former and we see the sort of performance we did against Chelsea and I actually think you know, as long as we sort ourselves out set piece wise I think we can get them. I do think we can get them. So I think it'll be quite an open game. But yeah, you probably predict their their quality to maybe overshine and they'll 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 just nick it. But I think we I think we can get something out of this game, mate. I really do.
Do you remember when, uh, when um, on Radio Solo, when Chris Temple and Willow uh, were commentating on the uh, Bournemouth game against Wrexham, yeah. where uh, James Hayter scored a hat trick, and then I, I think do. Chris I Temple uh, said about maybe doing a naked jog around Bournemouth if he got a particular stat wrong or something like that. And if that's not a record, I might join, uh, join John Williams on that naked run around Bournemouth. <laughs> I'm going to put it on you now. Not that I'm asking you to do a naked jog. Who are the three Premier League teams that are going down? Uh, you know Southampton. Who are the other two? Leeds Leicester. Tom, what do you go for? I'll go for Leicester and Nottingham Forest. One of those guys is doing a naked jog around there. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> right, just stepped outside the pub for a, a quick bit of air, even though they've got an outside courtyard. Why not? Yeah. Tom, team news, talk mm. me through it. What's going on? Two uh, o'clock. As usual, mate. I've got theirs bang on. I've got opposition bang on, but. In terms of us, I didn't expect Brooksy to come in. So Brooksy starts. Um, I managed to get Anthony. A little shout for Anthony starting. He is starting. But yeah, it's um, Billing and Rothwell are out. Um, so I've either got an injury or fitness concerns. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's uh, I was correct in saying that Kelly would move to left back. Uh, Vina's out on the bench. But yeah, he's brought Lewis Cook in uh, for Rothwell. And then it's Brooksy's come in, Anthony's come in. So it, it remains to be seen whether Brooks is kind of in that 10 role or it's Christie. Reckon, I think um, it'll be Christie. What's what's happening with Man United? Rashford was the thing in the preview. No, yeah. Well, well, yeah. I, I was kind of thinking he might be on the bench, but I think he's had a bit of a setback. I think he's had an illness, so he's not even in the squad. So, um, sorry for Rashford, but get in. Get in, right? Um, let's let's yeah. go in and see what Richard thinks, shall we? Yeah. I think he's in there. Yeah, he's in there. Here's Richard. Hi, Sam. How are you? Ryan? I'm fine, thank you. Nice morning down the beach this morning. Yeah. Walking on the promenade. Hopefully, well, I didn't see the team, so they're not on the beach, hopefully. Yeah. We've got an OK home record against them, really, haven't we? Yeah, not bad. Do, do yeah. we can get something against them? I mean, they need, they need to win. It's a big game for them, very big game for them. I just hope that we turn up, we play some good football and uh, we get entertained, really. That, that's all I want from the Southern. And if we, if we lose, yeah, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't matter to them, but it matters to us. So turn up, put in a good performance and uh, enjoy the day. After the game, there's the, uh, the awards presentation. The Daily Echo Mickey Cave Trophy has gone to Jefferson Lerma. Do you reckon there's a little bit of recency bias there? People maybe trying to convince him to stay. Do you think on the balance of the whole season that he probably deserves it? Or do you think maybe someone else should have been considered? That was a long question, Sam. Wasn't it was, it? Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, so yes. <laughs> Just got started. One nil United. It was sadly like David Brooks that gave the ball away, and then from there, it was relatively easy for him. And it's the guy that scored first at Old Trafford as well. That was, um, that was Brooks who lost it actually, and then they just kind of, you know, they had men over, didn't they? They were camped. They were camped pretty firmly in our half, and they. I mean, it was. There was a move just before that. And I thought a goal might come. We're not. We're not long into the game, and United already won up. Hey, look! It's early days. Anything can happen. Be positive. Yeah. Like silly mistakes and silly areas. We don't want any of it. 
pretty dull. It's pretty dull, but I have got some exciting news for you. Oh, okay. Philip Schofield has left ITV's this morning. Absolute scenes. Taking on his left. He should have hit it with his left, but he got a free kick. I think both Tiggs are dozing off him now. I was. Lesser spotted yellow shirted. We can't even see from this angle. It's about 38 minutes, so if. Oh, the, <coughs> there we go. There he is. There we go. Set your watch by the guy. Scratching his head. Yeah, he doesn't really know what to do himself, does he? Oh, he's waving. Yeah. Giving the people what they want. Giving the people what they want. And I'm not usually into giving crotch shots, but this is the colour of the seats as they're supposed to be. And this is the colour that they've ended up as through the sun bleaching. We've got pink seats, lads. No. Good effort, good effort, good effort from Dom. A toughy win. End the off. Some neck muscles were involved there, but that is half time.
deserves a lot of credit, does Gary. He's put through the rigour at times by our own fan base, but you know what, fair play to him. He got the job done. Hopefully we can kick on next season. Now he's with his family. That was 2022-23 at Dean Court. Fan cam's done, and I'm here with HH. HH, right. how are you? I'm okay, thank I was about you. to ask you to show me your shirt, not that one. No, but this is the cool one. This but is, a, but go on. What else have you got? <laughs> Finally, after a year. Feel, I mean, what does it smell like, Heather? Does it smell of success? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the main man, George here. Hello, George. You all right? Yes, did you, did you enjoy that today? Was it all right? Yes, all right. It was all right. But with Premier League next season, can we end on a high? Do you reckon we're going to get a win at Everton next week? Yeah. What's your What's your prediction? What's your scoreline prediction? Two nil. Yeah. Is it going to be two nil? Two nil. Two nil. George says two nil to Bournemouth, and I'll be seeing you at the pair over the summer, won't I? Yeah. Top man. <laughs> Right, there you go, Tom's here. Did you sing for Jeff, mate? Of course. Did, did you reckon he will stay? 50-50, I Yeah, I think I'm 50-50. There wasn't 50, any giveaway. 50, Lamar. It was like Lamar, good tune. Yeah, there wasn't um, much giveaway, was there, really? For no. this. Um, what I don't understand is, do we never used to do the Mickey Cave Award on the pitch? No, no, that's been weird. We always used to do that award. Like, they didn't even present Lerma with his award. Unless they did it before the game, maybe, I don't know. I I wonder if it's the Daily Echo now. We don't do it. I don't know. know. Maybe. Um, Thoughts on today? Um, Yeah, Yeah, we done okay, I thought. They, they, as soon as they got the first goal, I thought, I thought Casemiro just dictated the game and they controlled it quite comfortably. We had a few half chances. I think uh, Keith was in it straight at the hair. I need the hair stood up well. But yeah, there was, was a few weird bits. I thought, uh, Smith, I thought Smithy was getting high and wide well. Putting crosses in, but you think, well, there's no focal point. We bring on the focal point, and then we play Vina at right back, who's going to cut in every time. So, a bit weird, but yeah, it was. It, it didn't quite happen for us. I didn't ever feel like we were going to score once they got the goal. But we weren't. Well, it was only one there. We could have got a lot worse. So, hey, it's mate, what it is. What's, um, so... Forrester winning 1-0 at the moment. Yeah. How, did, how did Everton do? Uh, they got a last-minute equaliser from a Colombian, actually. Yari Nina. Mate, it's going to be tasty next weekend. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll see what, what it turns out to be. But I, I don't know, it could be weird because I certainly don't want to save Leeds, mate. No. So, oh. we'll see what happens. See what happens. You know, that makes me worried, mate. That makes me worried. Yeah, it's been a bit over top, isn't it? Yeah. Shut up. Just say I'll see you next season. Don't worry about it. I don't like the way that Jeff's hanging about doing signatures, sort of selfies, he's doing everything with fans. Too much. He's not even on the on, on the other side of the barrier. Tom's fuming. Do it next season, Jeff. <laughs> Why bad it? So if we go that way guys, we need to get the van out. Well, we're here with Nathan. Nathan, how are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good, mate. Um, sorry about the result today, but you know what? We're, we're in the Premier League, mate, for another season. Who's been your player of the season for me? Tavernier or Lerma. But I think Lerma, definitely. He's been a good player. Mate, do you reckon he's going to stay or what? I, I hope he does. I do love him. I hope he does. Like, Tom's just been trying to talk him round. I don't know whether he will or not, but you know what? Um, Mate, do you think we need to strengthen like in the summer to like maybe push on I, if we can? I think we need a good maybe striker. Yeah. A good striker. I mean, Dom Tillan could be great, but I think we need someone a bit better than him because he would really affect him. Yeah. Nice one, oh, cherries. Cherries. Yeah, Tom, what's the word on the street? I said stay, and he smugged. 
smirked and walked off. So we're walking back to the travel interchange where we're going to part our separate ways and I'll tell you what, I know we passed the Jefferson Avenue sign earlier but sort of wondering whether our path and Jefferson Lerma's path are going to be in different directions because Tiggs, I'm not being funny, it felt like he was saying goodbye. I've never seen a player hang around that much after a game before. Yeah. He came the other side of the barrier. Yeah. He was doing selfies. He was signing everything that was going. Um, yeah. that, that worries me a little bit. Yeah, and even the way that he played the game today, it felt like he just really wanted to get that win today. Like he plays with heart in his sleeve every game anyway. But there were sort of little thing, like little niggly things. That he was like, you know, he's really getting in the rest faces and pushing them out. United yeah. player off the pitch. It just felt like for him, he really wanted that final. That final game, I mean, we might be completely wrong and anything so. can change. Never say never, folks. You just said um, it twice. But what I want to say is this, is that if, if that is his last home appearance for us, boy, weren't he great? Yeah, he like you great. can't, you can't, you can't hold anything against the guy if he ends up going and play for some other club, even if it's a Premier League club, like yeah. West Ham or something like that, you can't hold it against him because to come down to the championship with us yeah, exactly, for two seasons. Yeah. You know, like no. Even Nathan Ake didn't do that. Yeah, good point. So, um, so yeah, what, what a servant, what an incredible guy, and welcome back, I'm sure, any time, if it, if it is the end. Yeah. Wow, we will see. Well, look, we appreciate all the support and love we've had. We've had a, a number of comments, actually, today yeah. from people that have just said, look, thanks for your work. Our work isn't done. We've still got Everton away, which, as we alluded to in the 1910, could be a tasty one. I might, I might not wear a shirt for that because I tell you what, that's going to be a tense one. But either we way, be, we might not be welcome. Yeah, we might not be welcome. But either way, look, um, huge weekend next week. We're going to finish on a high with back of the net. And um, yeah, thanks for all your comments. If you, if you want to support us, you can. AFCBpodcast.com/slash/coffee. We truly appreciate it. All monthlies get on the legends wall, but also we'll 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 feed you extra content during the summer as well. We've got some good stuff on the way. But for myself. Antics. We'll see you in the next one. Have a cherries. Ciao.